At 2.40 a.m. this morning, detectives apprehended Levy Aaron at his residence at 466 East 2nd Street in Brooklyn, where he made statements implicating himself in the death of eight-year-old Levy Kletsky, and where remains believed to be those of the missing boy were found by detectives in a refrigerator in the suspect's third floor attic apartment and in a dumpster on 20th Street between 4th and 5th Avenues in Brooklyn, wrapped in black plastic garbage bags inside of a red suitcase. The suspect turned 35 years old today. Levy went missing Monday afternoon after he failed to meet his mother at 13th Avenue and 50th Street. His parents had agreed to let him walk by himself the seven blocks from his day camp at the Yeshiva Boyden School on 44th between 12th and 13th Avenues, halfway home to the rendezvous point. Uh, he was seen on video leaving the school at 5.05 p.m. Monday. 35 minutes later, Levy was in a 1990 Brown Honda Accord with Levy Aaron, who subsequently brought the boy to his apartment, killed him there, and then dismembered the body, according to statements that he made. In various videos obtained by detectives during their canvases Monday and Tuesday, Levy appeared to be lost. Instead of walking to 13th Avenue and 50th Street, you can see on the the chart there, the it's marked in red. That was the intended route, at least, of his his mother. Uh, Levy continued along 44th Street until he reached 18th Avenue, where he encountered Aaron and asked him for directions. There is no indication at this time that the victim was known to the suspect previously. It was just happenstance and a terrible fate for this young boy. Levy was last seen on video Monday between 5.30 and 5.40 p.m. when he was approached by the suspect who briefly visited a dentist's office on 18th Avenue while the boy waited for him on the other side of the street. At 5.40, Aaron left the dentist's office and got into his parked car with Levy. Detectives located one of the dentists who worked there at his home in New Jersey late last night and established that the suspect had been in the dentist's office on Monday to pay a bill. With the assistance of a receptionist and another dentist associated with the practice, detectives at 2 a.m. today found records that established Aaron's name and address. He was apprehended 40 minutes later. The Schoenbrunn Patrol also supplied important information, and that is the license plate number of the suspect's car. When detectives arrived at the three-story house owned by Aaron's father, they found the door to the suspect's third floor apartment slightly ajar, with Aaron inside. When detectives asked where the boy was, Aaron nodded toward the kitchen where detectives observed blood on the freezer handle of the refrigerator. Inside the refrigerator was a cutting board with three carving knives with blood on them. Some of the remains were in the freezer and others in the dumpster two and a half miles away. The medical examiner will determine the cause of death. Charges are pending. Levy Aaron has lived at that residence for the last two years. He returned to Brooklyn after spending two years in Memphis, Tennessee. He is employed as a clerk at a maintenance supply company in Brooklyn, which serves building maintenance companies. Except for his time in Memphis, he was employed there approximately 12 years. He has one criminal summons for urinating in public last year. We are, of course, contacting authorities in Memphis to learn more about his history there and, of course, continuing our investigation locally. This was a horrendous crime, and we are ext uh, extremely grateful for the 
support that we receive from the community, and we extend our deepest condolences to the Klutsky family.